Being aware of expat trolls and what you share online. Expat trolls are a nightmare. They're just a they're a constant tedious pain where they're looking for a reaction. That's the whole point of trolling is they'll follow you around the web. Um, they'll steal your photos off Facebook or wherever they've got access to. And they may not be so obvious because they will borrow other people's accounts. They'll pretend to be other people. They'll log on to, say, a forum and say, I've lost my email and I can't log into my account. Can you send my, my email to this address? And it'll be the same name, but say an underscore or something else to get the information off the admin so they can log into your account. That's the sort of stuff they get up to. And bizarrely, it's normally over extremely trivial stuff. I know from the troll that follows me around, the arguments that he's had with everybody started off with threads he started to create arguments in the first place. His dummy throwing comes from him being banned on every forum, pretty much. Um, that's why you've got to be careful with these people. I mean, I'm not too fussed on the one I've got. He's, he's, he ain't got many years left in him, so um, I'm not too, too bothered. Uh, but... The, the point is, I do know that other people get affected, but also be aware that a lot of these people that do do this and sort of, oh yeah, let's do something, um, they disappear into the background as well later. Because um, there's been stuff between different expats that um, weren't trolling, but they were arguing with each other. And then they're sort of trying to get other people to resolve their issues. Just push it all to one side. They're not your problems. You're not there to police the expat community. And half the time, these people are infighting, regardless of what's going on. It's just one of the problems with the Philippines expats. Now, I'm not saying it's all the Philippines, by the way, because I know people down in CDO say it's a bit different down there. Um, Cebu seems to have a lot of infighting and has has done every year since since I've known it and uh, there's always been something going on but even the forming of the forums uh, before that there was some arguing going between different forums so it's always been all going <laughs> it's just not worth the hassle um, I would say just sidestep it all so if you see people arguing online etc just move it don't don't get involved in it and on top of that just be cautious of what you're sharing if you're worried about photos or whatever um because it will steal them the i mean there was a there was a guy a couple of years back that he lives i think it's his wife's niece or cousin lives with them um because she's orphaned and anyway she moves around between the relatives and this guy the same internet troll i have he turns around and says oh he's living with his wife and mistress so he's got his wife him and this um, cousin and then he's obviously stole their Facebook pictures and made out his own little story about it that's the sort of stuff they get up to absolute mental cases um, and yes they are absolute mental cases they're often on medication of some description or should be or have stopped taking it one way or the other they ain't 100% anyway so just be aware I know it's nice to actually have a good community, but don't ex expect everyone to play at the same level. Um, some of these people can be very, very childish, and like I said, some of them have got serious mental problems. So just be cautious about what you're doing online and who you're talking with. All right, thanks for watching.